Since the launch of teachmate.ai, I've had loads of questions about how it works, what it's all about. So I thought I'd make a video which is a bit of a guide to the science. What Teachmate has done is taken this AI technology, harness it and streamline it to try and help school staff with admin tasks so they can save loads of time. Now what makes Teachmate slightly different to ChatGPT is through extensive testing, input refinement, modeling, and the fact that with the GPT API, you can feed it more specific edu data, means that you should be able to get a better output through the website. But I know that some teachers are already using ChatGPT brilliantly, getting some fantastic outputs, and if that's the case, keep going. But let's now jump in and have a look at Teachmate. So here we are at teachmateai.com, or you can access the site by going to teachmate.com. AI. The home page looks like this, just a bit more information about how it works, why we've made this website. And in the top right hand corner is where you can create a login to sign up. So you can just put your email address in there and you can log in like so. And the first thing I want to talk about is the my account option on the left hand side. It's in here that you will be able to upgrade from the free account to a pro account where you can then access everything. What you can also do in my account is you can then delete and cancel your subscription at any point. So even if you sign up, you cancel it halfway through the month, you will still get access for that whole month until your subscription's over. But if you do upgrade, you can either do that monthly, and like I say, $6.99 a month, two coffees or like I keep saying for the price of a Netflix subscription you can have your time back to actually watch Netflix. It's also worth pointing out that we have now off the back of your feedback added in whole school subscriptions as well so if you do want to sign up as a whole school where all your staff can get a login you can do that there on the left hand side. I have now logged into my pro account and this is your dashboard. So just to give you an example of what it sort of looks like we're going to jump into the free tools here. We tried to make a handful of tools free for anyone to use to sort of get a bit of an idea of the quality of output it creates and if I jump into the math starter questions here like I say, we try to make it as easy and streamlined as possible. That all the teacher needs to do is put their year group in. So year four, for example, tap generate. And if I scroll down to the bottom, it will now put an output in. So you'll see the little orange bar working its way across at the top. And that's just the AI generating the content based on what we've asked it to do. So we'll just let that work through. And here we go, we've got 20 starter questions that are linked to the maths curriculum in England covering your number of place value, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and so on. So we can then copy all of that by pressing the copy button at the bottom or we can press the save button there. Now by pressing that save button, that is going to save all of that content to my content, the my content page on the website. But if we now jump over to the my content option, we can go into the free tools here where we've got the math starter questions and if I tap click to view, you will see now that everything I've generated is then saved there. So even if I don't get a chance to copy and paste it straight away, it will save everything to the website in your content option, which you can again copy or you can delete if you don't need it anymore. So you won't have to keep generating stuff all of the time. So as I say, there are over 40 tools available already in the teacher tools section. It's more of the sort of admin tasks for you as a teacher as far as planning uh, and, and sort of policy writers, risk assessments. And again, it's doing the heavy lifting. Teach Mate, it is your mate to help you with a lot of teaching admin tasks. We've got more coming very, very soon as well. And again, if you think there's something we've missed, that we've not covered, suggest it and we'll try and build it up, build it in. The classroom tools are more around content generated that you can use in class with your children, such as the comprehension creators or the model text generators, knowledge organizers, whatever it might be. So yeah, you can access all of these tools when you go pro. You can just jump in, put your or input in and it will generate a matter of seconds and like I say if it's not what you want first time you can try generating it again copy paste it save it to your account and like I say hopefully this will save you a lot of time help you inspire you support you and hopefully give you time back so that you can focus on the most important aspect of your job which is teaching